Uh, you need to look out for uh, Henny on the AWP, right? He's actually found a lot of impact, but it's Phelps. Mm -hmm. He's feeling the different picks and boosts and plays aggressively towards A or boosts over towards B, connector plays. He has been a bit of a menace on this very map. So keep your eyes on him as well as two of the newer names, uh, Decent and No Way. They've both been making a bit of a splash. And then in-game leader Vinny going up against a Apex looking to fire up the troops alongside names such as Zaiwu and Sphinx, major winners. Uh, then joined by Flamesy and Mezzi, the more recent additions in, well, I wouldn't say recent history, but history somewhat. Yeah, and still both of them, I think most would argue, are still kind of finding their place within the team. At, uh, obviously, they've been, they know what they've been told to do, but in terms of growing accustomed to it, I think that's still a work in progress. Two Molotovs, smoke and a double flash. There's a lot of options available to Vitality as the whole team... Wait, they've pushed long on this. Chad, surely this means that we're going to have a quick rotation when you go and have a look and there's nothing there. Well, it's on a timer, right? So when is the Vitality executed? It could be ahead of the rotation, True. even though they have the info. I see a smoke towards heaven. Here comes the util. Off the flash, they push in, but it's Henny with a clean headshot. Decent builds upon it, takes down Zywu cleanly. Mm, not so clean on the last. Needs a fresh clip, but that's a clean headshot from Decent and a five alive Imperial start. An Imperial march straight through. Decent uh, enjoys getting fired up and he definitely has some sass about him. So uh, we know the Brazilians like to get loud. Henny always enjoys a good celebration. And this one is a beaut, right? They have that smoke that you see here to corral the T's into just one side of the pillar, a death corridor to be farmed up and well, with the bomb not going down, that feels like the new goal for the CT side pistol. Winning it is just one of two check marks. Right. The other is avoiding the bomb plant because the bomb goes down, we know what it means. You can get into a very tidy second round by with the loss bonus, Galils, all that good stuff. And oh, uh, we're gonna run through a Molotov. All right, well, they do take down one, but the mop and bucket is out. Now it's just the mop, the bucket's been knocked over and the mop running dry. That's uh, a fair amount of damage being done with just Glocks. So decent all things considered for Vitality into round number two. Flames has done significant damage. I feel like he's hit a fair few headshots on the Glock there. Does Henny get to any of the guns? I think that's... Yeah, he, he just picked yeah. up a Famous. Yeah. So that he, he just came into that round with the USP so he can bring the AWP out immediately. Can I close your console? You so can, you can. can. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Very much. Would, it, would you like overlay or no? No, overlay? no, this is fine. Okay, this cool. is great. This is very good. Thank you. Uh, so, Henny will be bringing out the A WAP. WAP does not stand for the same thing as that song. Wet ass pasta. I can't think of a fun acronym that could be Counter Strike related. No. It's just like when we get in the banter zone, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> no, no. Kind of like walk, a deer in the headlights. Walk A, please. Doesn't really work. While they are walking A, one of the calls that Apex does like to run at is this conga line. Oh, spotted on the jump. So this is not the play that I was about to discuss, but either way, acceleration. And I like that he just kind of stakes his claim straight away to the entirety of long. Advances up now, and, and, and by spotting him out and then chasing him away, they... they Pivot. Okay, we don't have long. Let's take Divider. Flames is going to be there, and he's got a teammate for the trade potential. They're actually erecting a boost. This is huge. Zywu, he spots them out. There's the Good push reaction. from Flames. That's necessary, and Zywu will build upon it onto No Way. Decent gets one, needs to delay them, and he goes. Oh, you nearly had it. Mezzi brought to 2 HP with a Famas. The smoke as well for him to get a low and play oh. around. Good damage onto Zywu. Two of these players are... <laughs> on red HP. They are going to save. Damn. If Vinny had known, right, the other individual stepped out in towards his cross save. If Mouse 1 was kept down, maybe a double, and then a retake, more than possible. But the reaction from Vitality is the key. The boost from Phelps does not net the reward they were looking for. They'd given over the fact that there's two players there. They push through with their scaling in bathroom. They remove both pieces of that puzzle, and now it's all about the save for Henny's AWP and Vinny with the A1S. I think this is where Henny and the boys were where they got in trouble back in Canada all those years ago. Yeah, Bergheim. Well, I know we're in Germany 
within this map, but yeah, no, I it was a bit of a more of a joke. The yeah, event no, that I, I got around, it. I'm the sorry. One I'm that sorry. My microphone was muted, so you didn't get to hear me exhale through okay, my nose. Right, I, I, right, I gave right, you like right. a. Okay. Yeah. yeah so was a, you have like dad joke. Level. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Please repeat, Apex. So I would, would like confirmation on the call. But that was a great one. So much pressure towards A. Imperial unable to stick the landing. Yeah, I think this all started with Apex. Uh, you know, zero frag, sure, but he was the uh, he was the catalyst to them trying to retake Divider, and it was handled very well. Uh, admittedly, by fumbling the boost frag on Saiwu, uh, the fact that Saiwu lived led to the kind of the spiral. You'd really back Vitality into this just with the amount of tape for Imperial on this map. Imperial have confidence because they've had some good victories on it. But how many more moves do you have available? Do you just look the same as you did in your wins? And in if you that, did, yeah. Vitality will have prepped for you. Zach did a great interview with HLTV if people want to check it out regarding this roster. Plenty of tied little nuggets in there. As the run boost out long, Henny gives up his position, takes a shot in upper bathrooms. We'll need to hightail. Like the reaction, no way covers off and long toilets for the orb. Oh, this is tough for Henny. He's pinned, Alex. Oh, locked in here with him. He gets two. A third locked in by no way. Mezzi caught with nades in his hands. He's a waiting tooth and nail onto Phelps at least. A 2v5 turns 2v4. He's naded the smoke there. Not going to be able to get anything off the back of it. And here comes Decent's flank. It's what Sphinx has been waiting for and not expecting a second. Oh, he got his cross there on the money. Vinny's just quicker. He knows where all three are. Two yeah. towards long slash bathrooms and one in connector. But they have the bomb. That is the biggest of the issues as well as the clock. 25 seconds as Mr. Merriman. Representing some liquid stickers on that AK-47. Not in attendance at the first CS2 major, are they? No, sorry. Which reminds me, the Mongols playing Pain Gaming next. Hmm. Will we see another Mongols reverse sweep? That's the question. Uh, good oh, find. Hang on, hang on a second. Okay. A little bit of a uh, testament to the old. Time to kill Bank. He loves it. And I love that he loves it. I reckon he's met, he met, it was kind of, the sentiment was nice. Is Bora beautiful? Yes, from okay. my understanding. All right. that's, I'm not All right, well, authority I'm, on that. As but. the official Portuguese <laughs> translator yes, yes. in the building. I do have some Portuguese DNA. Well, as long as we don't have another Henny meltdown. Yeah, that would be, it would be ideal to avoid. And it's not possible to pick it up in maps two or three because this is a best of one. Boost, there it is. This is what we're talking there about with was. Phelps. Flipped off. And oh yeah, pre-aimed. I think they may have heard the first dismount. So. Indeed. And but. Phelps only had one kill so far, Alex. Yeah, and he is going to be, I mean, you, like you said, a win condition for, mm. for Imperial. You have to have him on form. It would be impressive if they do it without him. Right now, it seems that Henny and Vinny are pulling their weight and then some decent as well. We saw his impact into the first gun. 3-1, but Vitality with a man advantage in pursuit of making it just a one-round game. They're heading B and Vinny. I mean, just... 2v5 on this Impossible. side. Impossible if they pull through the smoke. Not so difficult. The flash is good though. He commits to the spray with a white screen. Oh. It's decent for a double. Could have been three. Still manageable. 2v2. Bomb down. Might do it. Apex gets oh. it in. The bomb planted. The nade landed. Henny, however, going to get peaked on. Apex with a precise headshot that makes it all onto no way. Apex's first victim, Sphinx the last in this one-on-one. -on -one. Bomb half gone. No kit. No no kit, but he has a smoke. Maybe he can lull Sphinx into a less than ideal fight. He's taking his sweet time here. Now the fight is given. Smoke is up. Can't win this. Can't win this anymore. Valiant attempt. Nice elevated angle. If he had a kit, it's a different story, but no way. Got to get out of there. And Vitality will pick themselves up a second. He's asking about the AWP, so he might be able to pick that up. Oh, never mind. Too close to the bomb radius. I'm sitting there worrying about what they can carry through. Nothing at all. Both teams being wiped out. As Vitality will call their first tactical timeout. And that one all there all starts with Mezzi. On your screen, saved an AK. Found an opener to kick off the round with a clumsy boost 
from Imperial. The noise made, communication piped through, and so the bullet in the head. Decent looked away, was expecting the prong to come up short. If he locked down the triple towards that monster position, were you looking at Zach's hair? Got a haircut. Yeah, didn't you see it? He shaved his head the other day out in between stages. Okay. That's cool. Well, it's, I, I it's more he, aerodynamic. I wonder if uh, it was the same guy that did Brokey. This was some rogue going around shaving heads. All I know is, after I shaved my head for my hair transplant, there's nothing better. Yeah? Yeah, because you don't, you don't have to worry about... When you just wake up in the morning, you have a shower. And it's done. You don't even need to dry your head. Yeah. Okay, it does sound quite liberating. But I'm also going for like the. I'm trying to push the limits of what, how much hair I can have. Of on what my type head. of fro? Yeah, exactly. I just I want to. It's a scientific experiment. I want to see what happens. Well, this one doesn't take a scientist to uh, tell you how this one's going to boil down. Yeah. Put it in a beaker, heat it up with your Bunsen burn up. Do you remember a single chemical reaction? No. Nah. No. Nah. You know the definition of uh, osmosis? Something to do with plants. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Semi-permeable membrane, Chad. Okay. Like my brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very, very, very few bits of information get in. It's weird what sticks around. Why do I still know all the lyrics to Sum 41's Does This Look Infected album? I don't know. It might have played a bigger moment in your life. Yeah, I guess so. Eminem as well. The Eminem show. Why? Why have we kept that in the coffers but I still struggle with like remembering a meeting. Yeah, but watch this. Mezzi in connector with the Galil. One on the table. Vinny jiggling down oh, the stairs. Oh. He's going to find bullets as Vinny gets taken down. Oh, damn. See that? Yeah, no, I have, I've actually found myself uh, compelled to watch. And we're going to be uh, forced to watch as this one continues. The, the clock extended by that plant for an extra couple of I'll seconds. I'll tell you what makes a full eco exciting. When they stack the right bomb site. That is, that is true. That immediately gets my attention. I love the disbelief of hearing the immediate double dink and then you see a nut. All it takes is just hearing Just that. USPs. Yeah, but... They found it. They found but, a third. But, but, but... How has this happened? Oh, man. Nothing feels quite... Oh, look at that peeping Tom through the door. Losing a full eco. Or losing against a full eco. You know what I really like that Vitality do? Shout out to Vitality one time. Not, not even Counter-Strike related. Just to the cool, like, images and posters and stuff they do around the majors. Like, remember they did the Rockstar one with the bus. This time around, it feels like it's a bit more Mission Impossible themed. Yeah. No, There's it's one really with Sphinx with a rope climbing up the side of a building. It's really cool. I think Zywoo's done one where he's hanging out the side of a plane. Very oh. Tom Cruise inspired. I like their whole approach. I like the fact that they, uh, you know, they celebrate. I think they, they projected Zywoo onto the Arc de Triomphe or something when they first signed. And yeah, they now just had him in the throne of... Golden Counter-Strike yeah, in front throne. of the Eiffel Tower. That's gangster. You know, I really, I think, I, I like that they, uh, yeah, they go through the additional effort. You don't have to do that. No, not you at know? all. It's, that's a, it's a creative choice. Uh, let's get into it, though, because Imperial have got themselves out the guns once more. Ooh. I love me a Henny Orf, and I'm seeing a bit of a pace change here. And buckets of Util left outside of V. Four players starting on this side of the map for Vitality to establish control. The fact you've got Zaiwu coming through the pipe in towards Sewer, that tells you one thing. Spinks already through Monster. B's under pressure. Look at him go. Spinks just straight, straight in. Vinny, isolated, executed, and there's no one else here. Is that it? Stick a fork in this one, it's done. This is fantastic from Vitality, and you wonder how much of this is to do with the homework, right? how much they were able to look out with the tape of Imperial and now just punishing them, understanding what type of aggressive CT maneuvers. They started 4A. Yeah, and, and that's not uncommon for the setups, right? I remember when we were covering off one of these games, you were impressed with just the sheer amount of opening options that they had on the CT side. Now, if there's a pattern to it that maybe we, as just mere mortals, are unaware of that has been identified by the likes of Matt, Extaz, and Apex, the French brain trust of the Vitality roster, well, it is being punished now. Yeah, that was just, that looked so comfortable. Vinny, and you could see as well, he was juggling smokes. He'd been left an additional one so that he could kind of keep Monster smoked while they go through their procedures at A. Uh, and perhaps that, that one player they sent, Vitality, that is, throwing the flashes, extinguishing the molly, that was enough to have those four boots planted as Spinks isolated Vinny on the site. Very cool, very effective, and a big round win. We talk about overpass, we talk about T rounds uh, and being, you know, worth their weight in gold. One of the most high priority rounds to find is a, a, a T side gun round. Well, they've done it. And uh, again, we're just returning Turning to Phelps, another round where he wasn't able to find any action or traction, and he has really been a key figure 
on the CT side for Imperial on this map throughout their major campaign so far. So if he can't get activated, they get another opportunity with the saved guns. But this is it, you're kind of chasing your tail if you're Imperial now. You're not the one setting the tone with your setups, you're the one hoping that you have the right call for what Apex is bringing. And now it's a now it's a two ace defense and they're splitting. Two con, two fountain. This is gonna be really brutal. There's nothing for you there, Phelps. Already Henny down, no way goes down two flames. He knows it's a red carpet. Look at this, look at this. He's basically not even worried. He's got his knife out Should charging up and that is nothing left for Imperial here. Wow, all the action has gone down. Vinny found by Spinks. Spinks anchoring outside of B and the other two are trapped. No way back, no way forward, as they are hearing all of this go down above oh. them. And look where the bomb is. It's not even in the site just yet. Apex coming to the party late. Mezzi forward. There's the, going to be support of Flamesy, the one who essentially won them the round. Decent, looking for a safe haven. Still tucked in towards Monster, but where are you going to go? Sphinx is still here. These are two horrible rounds to lose for Imperial back-to-back. -back. I think if it's a team, Alex, who's just playing more default, right? The 3-1-1 one, one or the 2-2-1, two, mm. two, right? Type of setups, and they're just going through standard map control. That's where Imperial with these setups will just be able to pick you off. But it's much more direct from Vitality in the calling, and it's just causing way too many issues. Five to three. For example, Imperial beating VP. Right? When, you, when, you, when, you, when you argue that VP are quite default heavy. Yeah, they, well, and they're, well, and they're they a bit more, bit more drawn out. But in that ancient game, I would say that they were... They're, they're, they had a good mixture. Yeah. Yeah, they were good at being slow, good at being fast. A lot of direct stuff. And, uh, well, decent to try and hold on to this AK. It was a pretty clean round until about now. Mezzi not just going to run through the grey screen. will allow decent to hold on to the scavenged AK-47. So at least they have something to carry into the next alongside of the loss bonus. And it looks like it is a timeout call. The first for Zach, the coach of Imperial. And that gives Xtaz the same opportunity. 30 seconds worth of discussion. Any, well, airing his frustrations, which we have seen before. This time, not as passionately, but probably with a lot to discuss. Hey, boys, what happened? How did two of you die in a split second? Mm, to, what, to what seemed like a solo play. It, like, Flames didn't have an immediate trade potential or a flash to set him up. He just came out top con. And uh, here we go. Oh, oh, that's why he's mad. Yeah, uh, he was just sticking out. He, uh, he assumed top con was going to be hell. Well, maybe because of the boost that was going on that wasn't really prying too deeply in towards Connector, right? And if Phelps isn't confident, he's not taking the fights he traditionally would. But is that it? If is that the disconnect? The if he had taken the boost that, that he fumbled in it, you know, in the previous round, he would have had a sideline for that cross. So it was just a different boost and not as aggressive. But yeah. regardless, saved AK, lost bonus, buy again, Henny Orb. Difference needs to be made from the Brazilians or this one. They're selling it. They just extinguished the short pipe, Molly. So if you're B, you're still feeling like it's it's back to B, back to regular schedule programming. Instead, there's still four players, top con and fountain. Well, this is a bit more of a regular round, isn't it? 3-1-1. The one, one. boost, we saw a decent find success with this earlier in the tournament. Yeah, this is very, very hard to clear. I wonder if Sphinx has done his homework. Oh, that's a lovely find. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, Flames. Look how much Decent has to worry about. Oh, and he's going to find him. Mezzi, not ready for the totem pole. Wall bank, it hits a bullet, but nothing to celebrate. Yep, checking it. Apex being a playmaker, so he's actually gotten past the jump spot. I I'm not sure what was conveyed there, but noisy on the wood. Henny communicating something. And the bomb's still over towards B. When Sphinx and Zywu were still alive, I would say that there are plenty of threats afoot. 45 seconds as they're discussing the option of a boost, potentially. Oh. Crouch jumping is weird in CS2. Uh, there, there is that video that highlights some of the issues with it. There is a bind you can use, but you shouldn't have to. Nice find from Sphinx. Bounce down, three on four. Trying to claw their way back into this, and they now. could with a messy spray from Vinny. Daiwu is a threat, not anymore. Great headshot from Decent, but it spings into the site with another double. Triple kill total. Time to plan. A second to spare, they get the bomb in. Okay, this is something you go for though. No way in Henny. Sit closer to their monitor straighten their backs and start to communicate. How do we work our way in back into the site? Henny crawls from Con, hoping an overextension's coming, but it's not. And Apex tucked in. It's a very hard clear with very good trade potential. 
Nate doesn't find it, peeks off the back of it. The Isolate Apex doesn't have the HP for it. Good retake, and the kit's available on No Way. Considering that was a 4v2 situation at one point, I think Vitality have done very well to get the bomb down again and only leave two players staying alive. But still, a, a nice retake that's put together off the back of the HE. So they've timed it. Nade goes off. No way. Swings. Shell shocked. And they're able to put their fourth round together. So still some class Counter-Strike being shown from Imperial, but Zach not happy with how that one almost fell apart. Running another chance just to converse with the team. See if they're able to put a stretch of rounds together in Apex. Looking quite happy with himself. Five rounds already on the T side is more than you'd be hoping for. It's cool that they put the two Brits next to each other, Daniel Jackson and uh, Mr. Merriman. Of course. They just have that synergy, don't they? Yeah, exactly. Both from the ends. I'm sure both, uh, what is it? Seven degrees of Mighty Max. Yeah, the separation <laughs> on Liquipedia. <laughs> you can go seven times, you're going to end up back on Mighty Max yeah. if you try. <laughs> five, yeah, as you were saying, five five is a, is already a fantastic haul for Vitality's T side, and, and I, I suspect there may be another one uh, in the works. This time, Henny was successful. It does feel like Henny is the different determining factor. If his opening CT maneuver on this AWP works, it's... Uh, well, they didn't go for the Fountain Smoke. Maybe Henny's taken a sight line there. He hasn't. Instead, it is going to be a more of a, a con focus for the CTs. Yeah, well, if Phelps is flat, someone else needs to step into that void. Love that Flames is not deterred after running into an AWP on this exact flight path last time. Now he's taken the space, uh, him and his whole squad. Oh, gosh, no way he's got a lot to do, hasn't he? Peeks in, and Flames deletes him. Opening kill goes the way of Vitality. And no need to do the jump if you can do the boost instead. Phelps. Don't know smoke. He can't delay them. They can just walk up on him and he can't really re-peek anymore. And he nails it though. That's a good one onto Mezzi. Bit of a head of the play. It's an equalizing frag that Mezzi's going to be a bit frustrated to be giving away. Here they come. Phelps is in a lot of trouble. Falls away. Henny tucked into the bathroom. Oh, truck cross. They spotted him. It was spings onto Phelps. Flames knows there's one on truck. They're trying to find decent, but look how quick he is on the trigger. Nails the headshot. It's Apex with a double to put all onto decent through the sp smoke. A spam from Zaiwu and another round for this T side campaign. Yeah, nothing's really happening for Phelps, is it? You could see him really just caught and then actually gets copped a frag in the back. I think he gets stage fright, but against good teams, not on stages, right? I, I just think, right, and, uh, where like he is the rifle you want to be always confident and always setting the tone. And he's able to pick up a couple of nice kills. Sure, losing the opener is not great, but your AWP drew one back. That's unfortunate for Phelps backpedaling into his demise. And then they're scrambling. It felt like Vitality had positional advantage, able to isolate these fights. The CTs are the ones cowering and back down to an economical. So this half cooked for the Brazilians. Yeah, it slipped away, hasn't it? But this is good after the opening wobble from Vitality, and I wouldn't even call it that much of a wobble. Eternal Fire are a name to be feared. Yeah, they they probably feel like they should have won against Maus yesterday on Vertigo. Yeah, for sure. Hello. Phelps is never going to get on that boost again. No, after the way that's things the have thing. Been going. But you, all you need to do is your homework to see what their approach is. And if your your game plan is going to be the same as it has been in the previous, this is where better teams will punish you because they have the understanding of exactly what you're going to be throwing their way. The research tools have gotten to a point now as well where your tendencies will be uh, made abundantly clear to your opponent. And it's, and it's about the more experienced teams, I reckon, knowing how to use that information, knowing how to punish that through calling, through positioning, and that's a clean close against the uh, eco. So seven, dude, at this point, this is getting out of control. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, no worries. The cough button is miles Yeah, no, I, and I was trying to get up to it. The sneeze just came quicker than I thought it would. So I'm going to stand up now in case okay. I sneeze again. They normally come in pairs. Apparently, if you say um, pineapple. Oh, you know, yeah? Yeah, if you say pineapple, you don't sneeze anymore. And if you got the hiccups and you think to yourself, you're not a fish, your hiccups stop as well. Is that right? Yeah. Wow, science is incredible, isn't it? Isn't it? It's come a long way. <laughs> Last round of the half. Let's see how this one goes. Leading early B. You know you're up against the guns. Is this a call off the rip? It's worked once before. Yeah, it's Spinks just kind of forging a path through Monster. And, oh, he's doing it again. Here we go. 
Same strat. Hi. Good flash. Vinny staring at the floorboards, covered by decent. Down to Flames. Cover his countrymen. Nice find from Flames into the double entry. Trolls the hose pipe. Molly deep for the plant. Zywu will get it in. This is scary. Mezzi and Zywu gonna put their heads together to close this one out. Molly heard. They know there's at least two there. Mezzi still worried about Con. Zywu. What's out Phelps towards Graffiti? There's a lot to be done here. Zywu puts himself in the vice. Headshot from Phelps. Mezzi in the clutch. Isolating jewel after jewel. Ready for a second. Can't do it. Covered out nicely by No Way. And Imperial will leave their CT side with five. Pistol's going to become compulsory for them, though, into the second half. Phelps with a multi-kill. Yeah. His first of the half. Now, I just want to make sure people don't think I'm just bagging on the guy because he was integral in their victories on this map throughout the campaign. Imperial versus Apex. A 13-7 to victory on this very map. Phelps, 24 for 14. And on the CT side, he had 20 kills. All right? Uh, when they took on... Game Allegiant, sure, they ended up uh, losing overpass, but I think many could have argued that they, they could have won it. On the CT side of that, he managed uh, 12 kills in total. So look, definitely not 20, but still 12. So good amount of impact. But five with a pistol is enough to work your way back into this, and Henny is not one to give up hope. Vitaly, I wouldn't say that they've been cruising, but they've definitely... I haven't had to shift too far out of first gear in this map specifically. As we turn our attention to the second pistol, Apex has a flash. There's some jewel berettas for Mezzi, not Zywu. Who, Zywu, Alex, only has three kills. Yeah, that does seem a little uh, insufficient, but I, in, if you're Vitality and you can win games without him... Uh, yeah, if anything, it's concerning because now he's on the CT side and this is where he's going to start farming. Yeah. So if you're an Imperial fan, watch out. They've gone, going up long. Glock's up long. Now when you're spotted, I'm intrigued what your decision tree is. Do you just go, exec? You've got two smokes. You can do both of the smokes from long side. And We've seen them with this before, right? Yeah. They segregate bank, dice, truck, dice. Apex has got this flash for a double swing from his aimers. Steep. Flash, swing, and nailing headshots. <laughs> Sphinx gets two. Lovely control. With multiple targets on his screen, he doesn't panic, he doesn't mess that up. However, two gooshes, long range glocking, and Zywu, he finds two of his own. Some very quick clicks from Vitality. Sphinx and Zywu finding a pair each. Ooh, his pre aim was good there. Henny's crosshair placement looks threatening. And he's got 40 seconds, so he can back away. Yeah, but he would have to start getting a move on and soon. I do always. Value Henny in the clutch. This is just a very difficult one. In 73 points of health. No Kevlar. Let's go. He's going. Well, as he rotates now, you can see on the radar, Mezzi will already be over there. Apex 2. You'd love a plant. No, yeah, it's not going to happen. It's not going to be easy. It's not, it's not going to be possible, I don't think. Yeah, this bridge player has pushed in. Gets him, but down he goes. No bomb plant so well. What's now eight could very quickly become nine, and it's a big ramp you're going to have to climb to get back into this game. And we do have uh, the game between Eternal Fire and FaZe currently going down on this very map overpass as well. That is on the mainstream with Anders and Henry G. Twitch.tv slash PGL, but some beautiful shots captured in the highlight package. Sphinx and Zywu, the star power of Vitality, propelling them to a pistol victory. And as you mentioned, most likely round number nine. Phelps has invested into a Zeus and Henny into a Flash. So there have been some very light investments, decent into a P250. You're going to have to push this a very long way as, ooh, the Zeus has a chance. Phelps. Oh. A little bit shy. Sphinx, easy, double, and wants some more for his trouble. He's going to get it. Armed up three quick ones on the MP9. Just Henny and no way, as this one seems to be going one way. One way fast. I'm glad I don't have to say one way anymore. 
cast. You know, like, oh, he's got the one way. Oh, oh with the smokes. Yeah. Sorry, I was completely... No, my bad. My yeah, bad. No, I could have no. been more clear. But yeah, like that, that that whole having to explain, no, so he can see them and, mm. and they can't see him. Uh, it used to be so much more egregious in Source. Uh, I used to have set... Like, I was the long player in Inferno mm -hmm. and used to be able to drop the smoke in a window and then you could play in a position where they, like, not even partially couldn't see you, just literally couldn't see you. And it's you horrible. had almost full visibility. That's yeah, horrible. Yeah. It was just a big part of the game. You just yeah. do it short and long and completely just stall out top mid takes in Source. We had self specking in uh, self -specking. in Pro Mod where if you like leaned and looked down at the floor, you could see over objects, but you weren't visible. What the? Yeah, we, cool. we, we banned it. That's a nice nade on the noggin of two. No way and decent. Gobble that one. Mouth is a gape as flamesy. Oh. Yeah, no way has just caught another nade. So one bullet will do it. Never mind. It's the can of flame. Down goes Mezzi, though. It's big from Decent. He's finding impact all over the shop. Good and with brawl. Vinny taking the fight to Spinks. Apex, he's the last defender to fall. Vinny closes it down. Imperial finding a must win round. Love that response from Vinny through Monster when they understand there's so much harassment towards Short. It must be eyes on towards Monster a little bit less. So they punch through. And it's potent as Zaiwu is going to be taken down to Phelps. Okay. Very nice round. Okay. Very nice round. That's that's done a little bit of convincing, has it not? Yeah, this was looking like it was just going to be a breeze for Vitality. And even some smiles creeping onto the faces of the Imperial players who are going to have to battle in and back from being at a four-round deficit, now three. But I really put this one on Vinny, the in-game leader's maneuver. The smiling assassin. While they've been able to somewhat break the finances of Vitality, who have decided just to take a light investment. Some upgrades into Deagles, 5.7 for Mezzi, and M4 for Sphinx. And, well, they are trying to set up a run boost, I think, across Monster. Trip nades is free information for Vitality to work with. 3B. Probably a little bit curious as to what the buy resembles if you're Imperial. Because you're knowing that they could have been some upgrades, right? They definitely could have been Famuses and a, an M4 or two. Vinny's going to get a bit of a rude shock. 5-7, not traded. Where's yeah. the swing? Well, oh. Okay, <laughs> he gets that with a moving deagle Accidentally. Shot. Yeah, we'll take it. Still not comfortable at all for Vitality. Apex is lucky to be alive. He gets away on 8 HP. And with a furrowed brow, accepting that this one probably is uh, is over. This is a kill. Oh! Free aim was there from Phelps. Sphinx still gets it. I still think this is a scary round for Imperial. They can very much lose this 40 seconds. And in these type of scenarios, remember the 5-on-3 situation they lost against Gamer Legion where the Henny tilt happened? They can be a little bit indecisive in moments like this. Yeah, with 30 seconds left. I mean, if Apex gets anything, which it looks like he's going to get bullets to the belly, decent rewarded for his patience. Util from no way, trying to force the rotate. Spinks was there, so that's confirmation that he's not going to be here on the site. But it's Zaiwu. It's Zaiwu with a deagle. If he hits one, this gets super uncomfortable for Imperial. Spinks already from heaven covered. 10 Time. seconds. 10 seconds. Already Zaiwu finds decent. It's only Henny in a clutch. He can get the bomb down. Zaiwu wrapping around a couple of body shots or one to the head. Henny's going to be getting sweaty hands here. Picks up an AK-47 hiding on the site. Look the patience. The smoke. We're just waiting it out. Henny with it all to do for Imperial. He spots him on the fade. Zaiwu will clutch an Imperial. They capitulate. They've lost it. And there was only one rifle in play. Yeah, uh, you could see just how many options that they went for. The fact that Spinks on the boost gets one, then he rotates straight back towards A, isolates another. They didn't group up. They didn't try and finish as a unit. And it really cost them. Zywu with a massive clutch on a brittle purchase for Vitality that wasn't even the full investment. This is where the belief crept back in mm. for a Vitality victory. And this moment, if you're Henny, what are you thinking? Hey, Zywu knows that you're in the smoke. Where else could you be? Yeah, I don't know what his options were there. Like, obviously, he had to plant. I think he's maybe assumed that Zywu stayed pit side, which means that Henny could have backed out of the smoke down towards Monster. But think about when that smoke fades, how much you have to worry about. So, like, yeah. literally everything. No, Zywu played that so well. I mean, like, it could be, it would be easy to kind of start spamming the smoke, giving Henny all that info and 
you know, if you don't hit those first couple of bullets, it really gets awkward for you. Instead, he just kind of showed restraint and understanding of what uh, was available to his opponent. I guess Henny's options were limited as well because he had to plan. You can drop into the water, but that's so loud. And if he's anywhere close to you, you're you dead. You were dead. And you're if dead. you back out at any moment too, you're probably dead. Yeah. So he was just banking on a coin toss. Yeah. And Unfortunate for Henny. It's led to a tenth. Vitality very happy with that one. That put them right back into contention for a quick finish now. Daiwu, double swing, down he goes, flash and to two from the spin swing. I'm sorry, but they were so ready for that. The U2 came through from Imperial, then they flashed and swung together. This looks like the homework has been done, not eaten, but devoured. Yeah, yeah, it was beautiful. <laughs> like a round winning maneuver off the rip. Yeah, and it was, it was that they knew exactly what was coming. Spinks in good form. That's a very good sign of life for Vitality. If you've got this guy fragging up a storm as he is, 18 frags deep. And now up against three. Is there a way back in for Imperial? I mean, they've got so much time. I don't want to spoil the result right now of the Eternal Fire versus Phase game, but I would uh, encourage everybody to go take a look. I can show you, Alex. You can see, you can, can you see? Oh, my. Oh my. Mm. <laughs> How exciting, dude. They need to make a documentary about Eternal Fire. Tune in. It's starting. Vinny has managed to take down Spinx. That's one way back. I still don't see how they win this round. Oh, did he spot? He didn't spot him. The flames his head just narrowly visible. It's a nice nade. It's actually made things a little bit more doable now that Mezzi is just a stiff breeze from falling over. But Apex is here as well. So there's three defenders against the three attackers and the flank from Zywu down connector. Yeah, this has worked out too well. Now there's two AKs just have to save. They're backing away. Oh dear. Yeah, they're running out of options, Chad. They're running out of rounds in which they can have a go. They don't... Oh, they keep them getting hunted. This is the thing. Vitality aren't giving you the respect that maybe other teams would have at certain points. The fact that they're just sucking up all of the space and they're going to get kills after time. That's everybody being flatlined. Apex is out of his chair. He knows what that means. There's no money for two players and they are just two rounds away from putting themselves into the 2-1 basket. One best of three away from the playoffs. And we're just forgetting how this tournament opened up for them. It was a slow day on day number one, but day number two, it's looking hot. Yes, the flank from Zywu, really strong. That's what I mean, though. That they're not being given, like, the respect of, oh, we've actually pushed forward and we have this map control, right? It's like, nah, none of that. It's I'm Zywu. I'm going to push down. We know exactly where you are. We've got the stack. Oh, there was a... Glimmer of hope, the first gun round going in favor of the Brazilians. Yeah, but it was nice. You were really actually quite impressed by the uh, first approach. And now it's uh, unfortunately not looking good. Oh, it's been vacuumed up by Vitality. Well, it is the uh, reigning major champions in at least three of the five, the yeah. organization for sure. And you're going to think, you know, in terms of expectations, this this stage of the tournament for them they would probably categorize it as a formality. They're, they've got eyes set on a bigger price. Oh, indeed. I think uh, there's three names that I would put in the category that should be destined for the playoffs. Phase, Spirit, and Vitality, as it's brutality in the bathrooms. You missed one. Eternal Fire, as well. Alex, please. I power rank them sixth, and I, there was a thread that said I had zero CS knowledge. Well, yes. <laughs> that that's an audacious Sponge claim. Zero CS knowledge. That is an audacious claim. Zero. How many stickers do you think he has in the game? I don't know. I should I should have four, but Valve only brought him in on my fourth major. So. Oh, really? That's yeah. not cool, man. Thanks, Valve. But you can have your own nickname on on the your guns in game. That's a exclusive privilege. Yeah. I'm Quite still waiting for it. a machine gun to qualify. <laughs> <laughs> I think. He did. Did he? Okay, yeah. so I can get machine stickers. You, sh you should be able I to. I can just do a little craft. Yeah. 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 Okay. 12 to 6. I will remind you, we will have to be on camera in a round's time. I, I understand what's going on here. But that's... I'm just letting you know. No, I appreciate it. You that. can't do a segment from there. No, I can't. Okay, I'll stand up. Is this the last round of play? Chad Birch? Is that a question? Think. You seem to think so, Chad. So go on. Walk us through it. How does this all go horribly wrong for Imperial? They they start by catching nades. That'll do it. No way working at half HP. Phelps braving the uh, the fountain once again after that flash push. I'd be a little bit 
scared of it. This is how it goes wrong. If they default towards A, there are three defenders. They have two in the upper bathrooms and one over towards divider. So even if they get through what they expect is the standard A defense, they will have to worry about the loose piece, the rotator, the in-game leader of Apex. And as we continue to see them march forward, it does very much look like a standard default A control round. So you have to get past this Zywoo M4 A4. And already Phelps goes down. That will lull them into pursuing him. And yes, yeah, Spink should take the first fight. Because if he gets one and dies, you're going to overlook the potential for the Zywoo finish. This is good team play. Oh, oh, ah, hang okay. on. Yeah, you've taken down the bathroom player now. So even more so, surely that encourages you further to take some space. Daiwoo, you can take a glance at Long and can call it clear at his own discretion. This is what's happening now. Oh, they're pushing out into Sura over towards B. The rotation down connector is going to get caught. Yeah, Vinny. Oh, just as he pulled out the Molotov. That's a big find from Mezzi. Blakey. Yeah, he's overlooked decent, so this gets interesting. 25 seconds, pressure on. Decent and Henny. Finishing B rotation of Zywoo on its way. There's a flash available. Mezzi, this could be a, an impactful round from you. Good angle for it. Henny overlooks it. Decent. He's in the chance up against Zywoo. 20 HP though. Zaiwu dropping in, decent, can't even get his gun out in time, he oh. can! Nails the headshot, Zaiwu yeah, feels robbed! A single bullet, <laughs> a single bullet from Zaiwu and it's, it's done. He's packing up his mouse and keyboard, instead decent says play on! How's that for a wall bang? How often does Zaiwu misplay a Dude, situation? He could have just swung, the bomb wasn't swung. even down! <laughs> That's, uh, that, that is an unforced error. Yeah, that, like I said, how often does I would make those? What a great round from Decent, the only one who's really been able to deliver in this map for Imperial. And here it is again. Zywoo could have just swung. I guess maybe he thinks he's faking it, so that's why. But uh, if he fakes it, oh, still a fight I would have preferred. Regardless, it don't matter. We're back underway. Yeah, that's a lifeline. Decent. 20 frags. He's top of the tables in the server bar Sphinx. He's had a great game. Right? This is the thing. Like these he's had youngsters, a great tournament, man. They've had moments, right? As okay. far as the stats were concerned the other day when I was checking, he wasn't doing fantastically well. Zywoo wanting to make up for the previous. But he can't. Zywoo and Sphinx both going down. Number disadvantage, Apex. Only six kills for the in-game leader thus far. Hasn't had to do any heavy lifting. Mm which has been quite the luxury, but I want to remind everybody, this is the T side of Overpass for Imperial. This is one of the hardest sides in Counter-Strike at the moment. So for them to be able to mount a comeback, the 1v1 is great. Winning in a consecutive is better because Vitality will have their money reset and it should have to be an eco. Now that still seems quite scary because a statement round from Vitality was a Sphinx M4 and a Zywoo clutch. So they can win these rounds with very little. And right now, they are gambling towards A. Apex getting frisky with 30 seconds left on the clock, starting to explore the options over towards long. Imperial are going to be waltzing into a very likely empty bomb site. And as the util hits the deck, I think Vitality will opt to save. Flamesy, I want to get his hands on something a little bit more potent than an MP9. There's a... Uh, where was that uh, potential rifle? Spinks had something? Connector. Yeah. I'm going to try and find that. It is covered at the moment. Oh. He's not interested in that Galil. I, is he? There yeah, we go. Yeah, he is. Okay. So uh, we have reports of the Eternal Fire versus Phase game. We'll wait until this one's over before we tell you, because uh, maybe you want to... Watch it yourself, and I'm sure as soon as this game's over, you'll tune out of Alex and I anyway. So we'll save it for those of you who want to hang around for that conversation. But that's eight, just a four-round game. So Four T-round game. I, yes, okay. So Virtual. that's like eight rounds, yeah. really. Like, I admit this game should be over if you if Zywoo had, had beaten out decent in the 1v1, but Imperial will take what they were given and they're going to run with it. Look at decent. He's such a good, he's so clearly like the talisman for this team in terms of keeping the, the, the motivation there, keeping the belief. If, if, if one player loses belief, it's a problem already. But if the whole team start to question it, that's when it's already over. The fact that he's maintained 98 
ADR mm. uh, against Vitality, one of the absolute best Counter-Strike teams in the world. What a showing from Imperial. 20 years young, 20 francs deep. So three rifles retained. Sphinx with a Zeus and a Smoke. And Zywoo with a 5-7. Already seen Imperial falter to less. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's go, Vinny. Good awareness. That would have been quite the one-two punch if the native found Vinny, but he's... Uh, yeah, he's, he's gotten away with that. It's not like he's got anything to uh, work with, Sphinx. He's, he's got himself a Zeus. Oh, careful, Henny out long on his own. Well, he won't need to be called into action. A boost with Apex on top. They just intermittently uncrouch. Check on the walk up. Actually, we decide to fix better rub it. Wow, that's brazen from Apex. He's just so exposed to all the potential. Yeah, he's seen in the open. He's going to get away with one. Zeus? Not today. Vinny doesn't seem to think so. Finishes what he started early with the wall bang, and so Zaiwu slipping through the smoke with a 5.7. No armor. Oh. Wanted the M4, but it's sticking out, covered nicely. Mezzi's going to save his. Yeah, Mezzi ages away from the rotation and wanting to stay silent. I already see the position of Decent. Russell down deep in towards Connector. So it now becomes a mere three round game, and that is to take us to overtime. Imperial. Putting up a fight. Seizing the opportunity that Decent afforded them. Yeah, and Imperial, uh, so far, have been having great success against, you know, European international teams. That's true. That is true. Ents, Apex, Gamer Legion. And that was just in the uh, opening stage of the competition, finding themselves here. We've already managed to make mince meat of Invertus Pro. Spirit, however, proving way too much for them to handle. And it is pretty brutal to be thrown into a back-to-back -back affair against Spirit and then Vitality. But that's a product of Vitality fumbling in their opening. 9 to 12, you said 4. Now, 3 away from taking this into overtime, but it is still an uphill struggle. I was just having a look at the opening duel. Sphinx is seven and one in that department. Sheesh. Did the kids is say that, that correct? Uh, I think that's I, dead. I, I'm, I think Sheesh is dead, yeah. yeah. Orp for Henny. Fragile for Vitality. Flamesy in the previous with a Galil, now with the CT version of the Famous. At least this one has burst fire mode, but 10 bullets less. Looking to do a late boost, not an immediate one. Apex ooh, on top of the totem pole. There's a 3 1 1. Looks to go quite heavily in the fashion of A. They haven't explored connector aggressively. There's nobody outside of B. And Henny gets to search. Oh, there's another Sphinx oh, opener. Call oh, it a double. Oh, this is trouble. Oh, Sphinx! That is ridiculous three, just on his own, unsupported. Takes the fight to them. 26 kills. Yeah, the dude's 131 a mad ADR. one. A mad one, Chad. <laughs> so, so good to have on your team. You can just sit back, relax. He's got nine multi-kills. Yeah. And he, what you said, seven and one in opening duels. Yeah, that'd now be eight, eight and one now. I gotta go back and check the kill feed to make sure that's, it just seems unreal. <laughs> it's impressive. Oh, just as Imperial was starting to get a little bit more situated on their T side, Sphinx happens. An outrageous 3k. Apex eats that flash. He's safe behind dice. And they should line up for him. Gets head down. No way, no way. Time. 10 seconds. He's getting flanked. There is truly no way for no way. This is over. The ace clutch is going to be denied momentarily. A fake plant with an orb. And yeah, it's Zywoo to close it. <laughs> Vitality, Apex motivated.
loud, celebrated, and picking themselves up a second win. Yeah, well, uh, you'd love to see a bit of smack talk. Uh, the opponent, Amino, as far as World Counter-Strike is concerned, the type that they have been able to deliver has been something to turn heads.